This is the murder of Naja Farrell. Naja Farrell was born on October 14, 1988 in Avon, Indianapolis. Naja was the cornerstone of her family. She was in a long-term relationship and engaged to be married, but no date had been set. She enjoyed spending time with her children as well as her nieces and nephews and always had a group of kids with her. She was happiest with them spending time together. It came as no surprise to her family when she decided to become a foster parent to three additional children beside her two sons because she wanted to give back and be there for children who didn't have anyone else. On March 15, 2019, Naja had been scheduled to go to work at 5 a.m. in the morning at Panera Bread for her third day of orientation, a job that she had taken because it fit around her children's schedule and it enabled her to go back to work. However, Naja never showed up that third day. In fact, it wasn't until she didn't show up to pick up her son from school that day that her mom, Paula, was notified of her absence. This was an immediate red flag as Naja was dependable, reliable, and would never miss picking her kids up. After attempting to contact Naja herself with no answer, they decided to call the police. The Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department was notified and immediately began investigating. When they learned that Naja was a a Hendricks County resident, they transferred the case to the Avon Police Department, a much smaller department, and because it was the end of the day on Friday, the case was not assigned a detective until Monday morning. The search for Naja was extensive and included aerial and ground searches across the city, but to no avail, nearly two weeks later, that her, her 2018 Nissan Altima was discovered in a shopping center parking near her work. Shortly after that, construction workers contacted police after they found some random paper and personal items near I-465 and Lafayette Road in Indianapolis. While the media never reported what items were found, Naja's sister, Just Lisa, disclosed that it was an ID and bank cards belonging to her sister. In April 2019, police got a call from the Crown Point Police Department in Indiana, about two hours away. Two fishermen at a pond off I-65 and 109th Avenue had discovered human remains. A severe foot was pulled from the pond with a tattoo matching Naja's, her name. No other remains were found. After confirming the body parts belonged to Naja through DNA testing, authorities launched a thorough search of the pond and surrounding area but did not find any additional clues. This was gut-wrenching for Naja's family and her two boys. The Avon Police Department in Indianapolis struggled for years with Naja case, trying to gather clues and investigate in people that were close to her to see if it would leave them some Somewhere, but it never did. No one seemed to know who would want to hurt Naja or what happened to her that fatal morning on her way to work at Panera Bread. The saddest thing about this case is that Naja didn't have any arguments or fight with anyone. The last to see her was her fiance and her two sons. She got along pretty well with everyone. She had a real bubbly and friendly personalities. She never complained to anyone that was close to her that she was in any kind of danger or anyone had threatened her in any way that she will feel not safe. Yet, Naja has been missing now for the last four years and there is no more evidence that has emerged as to what has happened to this young woman. Police has pleaded with the public so many times for, for anyone that might have seen something or have any little knowledge about what might happen to Naja, where her other body parts could be found to come forward and no one has come forward so far. For me, I cannot wrap my head around Naja Farrell disappearance. I can't imagine what her family might be thinking since they have no clue as to who would want to hurt her or what happened to her that fateful morning. All we know is that two boys are missing their mother dearly and is begging and pleading and really want to know what happened to her. On her anniversary, March 15, 15, 2020. Naja Tu's son and her mother Paula Golson gathered at Eagle Creek, a place that holds special memories of Naja for them. It's where they came to remember a daughter, sister, mother, and friend. Paula Golson stated, we will never forget what she meant to us and it's very important that her children know and continue to keep that. Paula Golson continued to state about her daughter Naja. It's people that 
are really sick out there. I feel like they took her life because they were rejected. They couldn't deal with rejection or just sheer jealousy because she was a person that loved life. It is hard, Naja Mother went on to say, to not have closure, to not know where the rest of her body is so they could properly give her a good burial and a, an arresting place. It is hard for her boys not to be able to go to her grave and lay a wreath there. Naja Pharrell family was robbed of so much. Ever murdered Naja put a dagger in so many hearts that loved and cared about her. Also Naja three foster kids that never got a chance to get the home and the love that they so deserve through her. Naja Pharrell had such a big and loving heart and she wanted to give back in so many ways especially to young children that she loved so much and whom that brought her so much joy. Naja Pharrell case continued to be top priority for the Avon Indianapolis police. Naja Pharrell mom Paula Goulson continued to push for answers for her daughter. Answers that she can one day give to her grandson as to what really happened to their mother. And I will do my part as well to ask for the public if you know anything about the murder of Naja Farrell to contact the Avon Indianapolis police so that they could finally give the answers that the family is looking for as to what happened to their beautiful and beloved Naja. I pray for continuous healing for her family. May her soul rest in peace. Until next time on the Meaningful Talk Crime Doc, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch up with you guys later in the comment section.